Good morning friends this is Shreya Shah from Crazy Money with Shree today is 30th of October and let's see what's happening in the market and what is uh, ahead of us if you are not a part of my youtube channel go ahead click on the like button like this video subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get all the latest notifications so let's get started guys I, yesterday uh, in fact um, uh, I had mentioned to all my students saying that USA market is at a very important support and there could be some amount of bounce back which could happen and it exactly happened there was a gap support at which uh, market has actually bounced back uh, it had gone up quite a lot in fact uh, uh, Nasdaq had gone more than two to one half percent and from uh, that uh, it has actually not been able to sustain if you can see it almost tried to close the gap uh, at that place again it actually uh, has hit this uh, barrier uh, out of all uh, uh, nasdaq is uh, something which is a bit more stronger even snp could not do and dow jones is very very weak so overall uh, if you see from almost one percent dow jones was up from there it came to 0.5 percent uh, one and a half percent plus actually S&P was up and from there it actually came down to one percent Nasdaq also was close to uh, two to one and a half percent from there it came to 1.5 1.7 percent now let's look at uh, DAX and uh, FTSE and other European markets they were all more than one percent up and from there it actually has come down so if you look at that uh, at the higher levels um, it is unable to sustain which uh, is showing that the weakness is actually increasing in the market and let's look at what is happening uh, uh, even after market being positive uh, if you see uh, Indian markets as of now are still uh, showing a negative sign but probably there could be some amount of uh, opening could be a little better let's see how actually things work and if you look at the futures uh, whatever gains has been done it is actually completely wiped off uh, in case of Dow Jones uh, S&P and Nasdaq also almost most of the gains are uh, uh, gone uh, even if you look at all the European markets it's all quite flattish overall suggesting that uh, this was just a technical bounce and there's no strength in this bounce guys market has become purely sell on rallies and now the momentum has also come and the momentum is intensifying and uh, probably more bad news could be on the way or probably market is going to behave uh, the way it actually behaves uh, uh, they have announced somewhere around november 5th uh, is where actually france and uh, uh, germany is going to come into this lockdown so probably till then we will have a good amount of sell-off which could happen in the market and once the lockdown starts probably things will be back to normal so that's how actually last time also it happened probably this is the same thing which could happen this time also so let's actually see how things are going to work i had told you something about the mercury retrograde that is there till november 3rd which is the election day so uh, everything coincides with that and um, uh, probably uh, if we cannot sustain this see uh, this uh, level uh, I think now the next level is 11,500 and 11,500 if it breaks the weakness in uh, the market is going to uh, be much higher so we need to be very very careful about uh, uh, these things and uh, things may go really really bad from here if thing if actually uh, we cannot actually sustain these levels uh, I have told you Indian market has been one of the strongest among all the markets as of now uh, the rest of the markets have already become quite weaker so let's see if uh, US is not going to support us uh, in the rally uh, for it's it's very difficult for India to actually on its own go up it could be possible that uh, we may start flattish kind of a node uh, or probably we can go a little higher on the higher side 11,750 800 is going to act as a very strong resistance for us 
and uh, lower end uh, if you see right now 11500 could give us some support and uh, that is the most important support for us and if that breaks our uh, uh, strength uh, uh, in uh, india also could come down but there are a lot of supports in the indian market because of the caps which have been formed so even uh, uh, i don't see a sudden fall to happen but anything can happen in the market if uh, uh, if actually the us markets actually go and uh, get into a sell off kind of a mode then nothing can be stopped because especially the dow jones is uh, inches away from getting into the bear market and if uh, dow jones is getting into a bear market then that's going to push the rest of the markets also into the bear market and uh, so for that we have to be very very careful and uh, i have been actually warning you from quite a long time so this is the time things are actually shaping up and uh, let's look at the commodities also commodities if you see uh, it actually uh, probably there could be again it may try to take some support but uh, overall uh, uh, if you see uh, it is trying to break the supports and uh, slowly slowly it is coming down it is forming uh, this is a support level at this place uh, at level, uh, 1875 range there is a support uh, 1850 800 to 8 uh, this this levels um, for uh, close to around uh, 1500 points there is actually a support so there could be some amount of bounce back but uh, uh, see market has been actually trying to move between uh, um, 1850 to 1900 930 kind of a range and it is slowly slowly drifting down and uh, there is any point of time it breaks uh, we should probably come back to 1700 1600 range so that is something in indian market if i have to tell you uh, this is the pre-covid level probably somewhere around uh, 40,000 uh, is something which i am looking for gold to come and silver also could come down quite a lot wherever actually um, before the covid the prices whatever was there we may actually start seeing somewhere nearby to that crude oil has actually come into the bay market and uh, if the stock market is not going to hold on this is going to have a adverse impact on the crude oil also and this is going to drag the market quite a lot of down so be very very careful uh, with your positions and things are going to be very drastic from here there could be big movements which could happen in the market so we need to be careful and things can actually drastically change from there okay guys uh, um, i think i have actually shared you all the information you need to look at the trade so it's a sell on rallies guys so don't get into uh, if the market opens uh, uh, a little lower from there it may actually go a bit higher and the higher levels actually you will see the uh, sell off which could come so uh, that's something which you have to see don't try to sell at the lower levels because bounce backs actually can always happen in the market and there's some news also for the indian market uh, uh, which actually can uh, add on to the uh, advantage and uh, mainly to get some amount of bounce back at these levels if bounce back uh, uh, does not come uh, and then actually uh, there's no much uh, hope left uh, things may actually start deteriorating from here so we have to closely watch what is happening with the u.s market because uh, the european markets are anyway down but uh, if u.s markets can support we can still sustain uh, so that's something we should uh, we should closely watch and uh, if uh, 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 see right now what levels uh, we are seeing it's as good as actually yesterday's level so if it comes below these levels that is where actually we have to be uh, worried about if it actually 
probably moves higher from here uh, at the higher levels we can probably look at the sell off uh, because if you see what is happening with the us market with the futures uh, it suggests that the higher level it is unable to sustain so that whatever uh, uh, bounce back you saw that was more of a technical bounce so technical bonds whatever whenever it happens it's best for us to go ahead and sell at the rallies so similar thing could happen here uh, here we have not got a huge sell offs whatever sell off had happened uh, probably again 11700 750 uh, at this point of time for us is going to act as a resistance yesterday high was 11750 if we cannot cross that that itself shows us the weakness in the market okay guys if you have liked the video just go ahead and uh, click on the like button hit the subscribe and the bell icon so that you will get all the latest notifications and uh, uh, for people who want to learn stock market uh, i have a full day program this saturday um, it's going to uh, it's, it's 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 happening on um, um, I have actually shared you on my telegram group also go ahead and join this telegram group and this is a free stock market program this is going to be from 10 am to uh, 5:30 pm so go and join this free stock market training um, uh, telegram channel and once you join there uh, I'll be updating you with all the latest information about it so you will be getting a, a lot of information on the stock market you will be learning about starting from the basics of the market you will understand about reading the charts about the candlesticks you will know about how you can take entries and exits using the charts and uh, how to use this uh, how to perfect the entry and exit with the indicators you will also learn some basics of futures and options because market is going to uh, probably go down so options are ideal for us to uh, start working on that and some of the best practices followed by most successful traders i'll be sharing with you all these secrets and um, it's a going to be a comprehensive program guys this is uh, going to be happening on zoom so there is there's a live event there's no replays there's no recordings so keep yourself free for uh, this uh, saturday between 10 am to 5 pm so this is going to be a comprehensive program guys please share this with all your friends and uh, let everybody get benefited thank you very much have a great and prosperous day